Hey guys, today I got a really big one. It's a uh, the 75315 Lego Star Wars Imperial Light Cruiser with 1360 1336 pieces. The retail price of $160. I think it's yes, yeah, no, it's still 160. So yeah, got this for Christmas. Just now getting around to uh building it and reviewing it. So uh yeah, let's get straight into this. Really excited. Can get it to focus really well, but um, here's the first figure, Grogu. Uh, we've had this minifigure many times before, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But yeah, it's just the regular Grogu figure. Let's get on to the next one. Here's the Mandalorian, which he has his spear, which is basically the only difference from the other ones. From other sets, he has a spear. And I think this exact figure comes in the uh, Boba Fett starship as well. So, yeah, nothing too interesting here. You just got a black head. Same Mando figure we've been getting. So, yeah, hopefully we get some changes in 2023 this year. But uh, we can only hope. So, uh, let's get on to the next figure. Here we have Cara Dune, which kind of a newer figure. Uh, well... She only came in one other set, so I guess I'll go a little bit more detail into her. I love her leg printing. It's got like light blue, light blue, light, <laughs> light blue, and dark blue. I think it's a really nice contrast. She's got like a gunmetal gray torso. Looks really nice. She has two face prints. So I'm actually gonna switch it on this one because my other figure I have it like that. So yeah, and she just has her blaster with the uh, gunmetal gray uh, lightsaber piece in the end. So, uh, yeah, that's Cara Dune. You've seen her before, of course, in the, uh, what was it, the ATST, yeah. But, um, yeah, still a really nice figure. Hope we see more of her. Here we have an exclusive figure, Fennec Shand. She has a brand new, or it was brand new, um, helmet piece, which I, th I think is really nice. She has really nice printing all around. It's, there's a second face. Okay. Yeah, she even has arm printing. Leg printing is amazing. So yeah, this is a really good figure. She has this, the exact same blaster and uh, lightsaber piece on the end as Cara Dune, but uh, I ain't complaining. It's uh, looks good with her. Uh, yeah, really great figure. Love this figure. Um, hope we see the helmet more. Maybe in a cheaper set for other people who missed out on this set, but uh, kind of like it to uh, stay exclusive so uh, that'd be pretty neat so uh, let's get on to the uh, last two here's probably the main attraction of the set moth gideon yeah, he has the dark saber which yeah i agree with the rest of the star wars fandom or lego star wars fandom at least they should definitely have their own special mold for this sword or for the lightsaber he has no leg printing but i don't think it's needed he has this amazing two-sided cape with dark red and black there's his back printing. I'm pretty sure he has an alternate face. Yeah, he's got more angry look on the back. But a simple figure, but a nice one. So I guess I really like this figure, yeah. Last but not least, we have the Dark Trooper, which I think this is a phenomenal figure. The only problem I have with it is when you he, he can't pull up his gun because the chest plate stops him from doing that, so it just kind of falls out. That is my only complaint. Otherwise, it's like a 10 out of 10 figure. Really nice face print. Could be used for a lot of customs. It's amazing. This is a really nice uh, helmet piece. And uh, I think this might actually have been used before. But it's a really nice chest piece. Or at least it's going to be used. Or it can be used in many different forms. It yeah, has really good printing all around. I really love like the gray. How they used it to uh, show like... Oh, he's not like a fully torso figure. Or like a... Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> they just use light gray. So I can show like how... How he looks in the... Uh, or how they look in the um, show. So yeah. Overall, phenomenal figure. Only complaint is that you can't lift up the blaster. So let's get on to the build of the set. Here's the build of the set. Moff Gideon's light cruiser. And sorry, I'm a little bit sick. I had to pause the... Uh, uh, filming of this video because I could not talk at all. Now I can talk a little bit. But um, yeah, this is the Light Cruiser. Absolutely amazing build. 
It's really fun. Um, only a few critiques about it. Like, nothing really falls off. Uh, I think the cockpit kind of looks a little bit off with the stickers, but it is whatever. I guess I started these cannons, and you can move them however you want. There's uh, or these missiles, the uh, spring-loaded shooters. Yeah, we know. I'm not gonna lose them. Um, there's the interior. There's actually plenty of rooms here. You can just like plop minifigures wherever you want. It's really nice, and they mostly fit in there too, my, minus the uh, weapons. Uh, but yeah, they fit in there really well. I'll, I'll use. Dark Trooper, for an example, because this weapon isn't massive. Yeah, it just lays down perfectly. There's another cannon on the other side. I'm not going to, like, flip it around. That'd be way too much work. Um, here, on both sides, actually, you have a little mini TIE Fighter, which you can actually um, shoot it out of here. If you shove it there, just over there and push it that I've never actually done it before, but um, a little hard to get in there. Yeah, if you do that, it'll like shoot out. It doesn't really work very well, but um, cool feature nonetheless. And just kind of stick on a jumper in there. I'll put it in, in a little bit, um, a little bit too difficult with one hand at least. Got it. Two storage containers. That one has a uh, what are the really uh, spy. Or the um, binoculars. And this one, there's a thermal detonator. You got two stickered pieces right there. Um, yeah, here's the table has stickers and a coffee mug. It's a really nice sticker. And on this side, it also has a sticker there. And um, <clears throat> also got to move around the uh, lights here. That's all the interior space. I kind of want to focus on the. Um, what, are they, what would these be called? The engines over here. Yeah. Really nice build. It was really sleek. And then it like leads up into the where the cockpit. This build was really fun. Really fun to do. Like, yeah, and it looks really good on display from afar. Just like take it in. Yeah. Um, there's plenty of greveling all around, which I uh, I really love this greveling. But yeah, I cannot say how, how much fun it was to build this set. So, um, yeah, let's get on to the instructions and then the um, box. Yeah, I got the box next to me. We can take a look at that, too. Here are the large instructions. instructions. I did not notice any mistakes, but it's been a while, so there might have been one. Uh, parts list, really big. Goes on three pages. Add for the Skywalker saga. Sadly, you cannot buy this ship. Wish you could. And then adds for the other sets. I think this is the only one that's still out. I think the rest are retired. Yeah. And then minifigs. Really chunky instruction booklet. Very thick. And now time for the ginormous box. This thing is large, very large. Barely even fit in one um, phone screen. So, yeah, love the box art. Really nice space. You got the uh, information up here. You got the like the main figure. You got Star Wars. I don't think I can flip it over. Maybe. I don't got a lot of room down here for this big of a box. You got like the uh, back of the box, which shows some of the interior. Baby Yoda. Or Grogu, yeah. So used to calling him Baby Yoda. But uh, yeah, it looks I forgot what the plan is called, but it's the one where the finale of season, season one took place. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, really nice build. Or a box, yeah. I still won't be keeping it though, I never keep my boxes. But um, yeah, I was really enjoyed the build of the set. Comes with great figures, a little bit on the higher end of price, but 
really it was on sale a lot for 127 or you could find it um, for a pretty good price on eBay I kept on trying to do that so that's where I got mine actually no I got mine for a hundred bucks at Walmart so that was a really good deal but yeah this is a good 9 out of 10 set um, very few complaints so uh, yeah great figures kind of wish Moff Giddy would have more printing and obviously a molded lightsaber but it's whatever uh, thank you for watching this was a I think a bit of a longer video so um yeah thanks um i got instagram i'll be posting more stuff on that so go follow that i'll link it in the description so uh see you guys later peace out